So while setting up for my wild camp in the burn, it's very important to pick your sleeping pad to suit one, the temperature, but uh, secondly, the area you're in. So today I have the Trekology UL80. And um, the reason why I brought this one today, rather than my other ones, um, this pumps up to a hundred millimeters thick. I knew this ground was gonna be rocky and, and um, lumpy. So with a hundred millimeters of air underneath you, it's not gonna be a problem. Uh, it has 40D ripstop material, so it's light, but very, very strong. Um, the R value for this is 1.6. So the R value, what R value is, is, is a sleeping pad or sleeping bag or anything like that. It, they, they measure it in R value. So the R value, it is the product's capacity to resist heat, hence resist R, R value. That's what they call it, resist value. So it's the, uh, it's the pad or the sleeping bag's uh, capacity to resist heat. So yeah, so let's open this up and we'll have a look. It's not the lightest in the world, it's 750 kilograms, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's have a look. Now the one thing I will say about this, have something to pump it up, especially being a hundred mil thick. Um, <laughs> you're gonna be purple or blue by the time you pump this up with your mouth. So what they do provide, well provide, you have to buy it separately, is a stuff sack that you can put your stuff in and it'll keep it waterproof inside in your bag. But it also doubles up as a pump. I'll show you how it works. So here is where you pump it up. Doing that with your mouth is gonna kill you. So you use this, which clicks into this. This is where you pump it up. Use the Trekology, uh, the pump. You can close that. And then this clicks in there. There's a bit of a strong breeze here, so I'm using it to my advantage. So let it scoop the air in. And then fold it down. And the beauty about this, it's a one-way valve. So when air comes in, it won't come back out. There's on the last one. Took five of these. So you can picture how long it would take to blow it up. It can be done, there's no doubt about that. it out the one-way valve no water or no wind coming back out or no air so just put this down and, and that's it beautiful mm. nearly nearly went away me the one thing I do like about this is it has a lovely curve on it so it really when you're when you're asleep on it it really tucks in underneath your um, on each side of your body yeah it's really really nice it's a lo it's a lovely mat to sleep on and you can see how thick it is as well so yeah so always think about your um, if you're buying it always think about the weight what is it like to pump up because if you bought this without knowing that you well you could blow this up by by your mouth but you're gonna be purple after so um, and plus this this, this is this is sold separately, but this doubles up as a waterproof stuff sack for your gear, so you can't go wrong. Um, just if you're buying a mat, think about your environment that you're sleeping in. This is a R value of 1.6. 1.6 equates uh, around ground uh, temperature of about two degrees, and you should be good. What I would do with this in winter anyway is I would use it for winter, but I would double up underneath. I'd have like a um, a foil mat or something like that just to add some R value to it but yeah um, there are other ones but you'll always find the bigger the R value the heavier the pad but again you can get lighter ones with a bigger R value but then the money goes up so look it's all about your weight it's all about how easy is it to breed to blow it up um, and then the other thing is the R value, so, and the weight. So look out for those things. So, yeah, let's get it in. That is comfortable.
It really, really is. You can't feel anything underneath, hence it's why it's 100 millimeters. So yeah, so if you're thinking of getting it, um, this will set you back around four, I got it for 46 euro, delivered. Um, so it's not, it's not very expensive and it is very good. So look, if you're thinking of getting a good mat, you can't go wrong with this. It's the Trekology UL80. So have a look out for it and uh, yeah, happy sleeping. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching and we'll talk again. Bye.